Lord have mercy, I ain't even in my fire high and I can't breathe. You finna pee on you, it, your fire high, the flow, the toilet seat, honey, your your compression socks, whoever else that's helping you pee, you gonna pee on everything and everybody. Yes, girl, I'm finna be in here like somebody made me. Hey, what the hell is this? Look at this big ass. This is stupid. However you need to do it, sis, just make sure that you do it. Ain't nothing to it. I'm so happy I came in here because it didn't leak. I guess it's a sign that I don't need to take it with my ass. It done came out of my penis, girl. I got to throw this away. It smells like medicine. I bought two P-Easy's. What? How the hell? Y'all, I done bought four P-Easy's. Why? I only got one for JJ. Huh? this ain't big enough for me. Honey, how much? Yeah, it's just your Today has been quite a day, y'all. I don't even know how to feel. Like, I really feel like I'm in my feelings because I'm finna come on. And I really just wanna cry. And like, have y'all ever wanted to cry so bad, but you just can't cry, like you just cannot get it out. That's what's happening to me. I can't get it out. I cannot get my cry out. Like, I have to learn how to stay in control of my mental state because I struggle with really bad anxiety. And although I know things are gonna be okay, although I know it's not the end of the world, although I know most things that I'm freaking out about is not even gonna happen, for some reason my body and my brain don't come together to actually always believe that. And so today was one of those days. These past couple of weeks have been those type of weeks. There's just been a lot going on to where I've had to kind of put things on pause, um, you know, it's been maybe like a, a month and a half or two since I uploaded. I have so much to upload. I'm going to try and edit today just to get my mind off of things because I, honey, I've been running myself crazy for no reason at all. Because ultimately, I think I'm just trying to control things that I ain't got no control over. I think a good cry, it's like a, a stressful cry and like a a thankful and happy cry at the same time. Y'all know I'm getting ready for surgery. I leave out Monday and y'all I'm happy. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm a little scared and it's really like my anxiety. I have to kind of tell y'all in bits and pieces because I just popped up on here. I am halfway through with packing my surgery bag. So I decided, hey, let me go ahead and open up these Amazon boxes that just came and show y'all the things that your girl has and so far and that i'm packing look i'm so last minute because i'm literally trying to finish packing and i leave monday and i ain't even ordered everything that i need to order okay so i'm about to show y'all what i got in my suitcase as you can see i'm on the floor i plan on just taking my my purse don't mind my box that's my dead gum pill box right there i don't know why it dropped out of the, the trash can i have to get it in a minute i got this suitcase it's like a gold color champagne color it's real cute i got it for like 40 dollars at trim out don't mind my little thing i had to go to the er earlier today um because of some other stuff some other complications which i will tell y'all about that okay so for my first bag <laughs> my first bag is my medicine bag now I'm gonna I'm gonna um, organize this a little better. I think I'm gonna get some big Ziploc bags or some um, some pill organizers um, to sort these in because I don't know whether or not they're gonna trip about me having this in my bag going into another country. Things that is in here that's empty, but they really in here. I got some Tylenol PM to help me go to sleep. It's open just because I use the one. This is to help me to go to sleep if I'm having a hard time at, at night. This is Benadryl Itch Stopping Cream Extra Strength. So that is for like lipo itch um, and things of that sort. I got some good old Tums in case I have any heartburn or any upset stomach or anything. I also have some stool softener in there that I'm going to take with me in case I got any type of GI issues going on. I have some gentle tape 
because my skin is very sensitive. I got two uh, rows for my, to cover up my incision. To keep my gauze on my incisions and stuff. I got some Dermablast, which is also for pain, burning, and itching. Um, that's all for lipo, y'all know. I see I'm suited to boot it. And I'm gonna get some Benadryl cream, not cream, this is the cream. I'm gonna get the Benadryl gel. Um, for massaging me in case I feel like none of this works or so if I need to double up, we gonna double it up. I got some antibiotics and some, I don't think I'm gonna take it right there, baby. Tramadol. I don't think I'm gonna take that Tramadol because somebody, I came across somebody saying that um, they took it once they woke up and the anesthesia didn't wear off. Of course, you know, you need to wear, you need to wait until the anesthesia um, wears out before you start taking pain meds, especially like do not take Percocets whatsoever. I would just say uh, take Tylenol because uh, I hear a lot that it's like uncomfortable, but not necessarily pain. It's just like really sore. So I got a lot of Tylenol, but be careful um, with, with the meds that you take over there. Um, Tramadol does not mix with anesthesia. Um, I wouldn't even be dealing with like any prescription meds from the doctor, any pain meds from the doctor over here until a few days out where you know for a fact the anesthesia is out of your system um, and that it is not going to uh, interact with any other drugs that is, prescri that is prescribed over there. So I got some medicine from the US, like I said, antibiotics and some pain pills. I mean, some muscle relaxer, whatever Trump doll is, honey. But I probably won't end up taking that at all. I'm gonna try to hold off as, po as much as possible. Um, I got some Tylenol, extra strength, just regular. I got some Advil, ibuprofen. Um, I heard if you mix these together, it kind of gives you the effect of Percocet, but with like less dangerous. Uh, I probably most likely won't even be taking these together. I think I'm gonna be good with just the Tylenol. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the pain pump, so yeah. Then I got some Tylenol arthritis. I know y'all like, girl, how many Tylenols you got? But they got different Tylenols and my body works differently. Sometimes it does help, sometimes it doesn't help. So I'm not gonna be taking all of these. I'm just going to try and see which one actually worked for my body and I'm gonna keep that one uh, pill. People always say that your throat and stuff uh, hurts a lot when you wake up from surgery. I personally know that myself from my previous surgery back in 2015 when I had my cysts removed from my ovaries. I don't know if they stuck something down my throat or what child, but pretty much when I woke up, my damn throat was killing me. So I do also have some hauls. So that's all I have in this bag. Prescription medicine is, I'm probably most likely gonna put those in the pill separator. So I won't have to worry about them saying anything about them being prescription drugs. I also have gauze, a whole lot of gauze. I'm gonna get, probably gonna get another box of these. This is how much comes in one box. I got some baby wipes, there is three packs of baby wipes in here. And it's for sensitive skin, cause you know your girl is sensitive. I have some disinfectant wipes to wipe down my area. I got some Lysol wash. Um, I don't know if they're gonna let me put this in my bag or not, but uh, yeah. If you can get some Lysol, oh my God, it's leaked. I'm so happy I came in here cause it didn't leak. I guess it's a sign that I don't need to take with my ass. But this is Lysol uh, washing powder. Um, to disinfect any of your clothes that you're gonna be putting on because of course afterwards um, After you have those incisions you need to really pay attention to Bacteria and stuff that is on your clothes. So I'm gonna wash my clothes in this before I pack it um, And close it up and then um, I might take just like a small bottle of this with me um, to spin my clothes It done came out on my pants on my panties it done came out of my penis, girl. I got to throw this away. Next, I'm going to be on, unfortunately. So I have tampons. Um, me, personally, I, I can't stand tampons, y'all. I cannot stand tampons. Um, and I'm most likely gonna be using pads while I'm over there. So I'm gonna get another bag of pads. But um, during surgery, if you're on, you need tampons. So um, I am also getting the O-Shot. So I might need a tampon while she's doing that as well. So tampons. Then I have the poise pads. 
the extra long ones. Uh, of course, this is for your incisions or to stuff in your faja. Um, when you put on your faja and your boards and stuff, this is for stuffing, especially with people that have tummy tucks because while your tummy tuck is fresh, um, you can't put on the ab board. So you use this to kind of help you with stuffing and stuff. So that's what this is for. That's pretty much all that I have stuffed in the bottom part of my bag. I'm gonna put this back up real quick. Then this bag right here came from a family member who has already previously had surgery. So she gave me this and I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, whatever that I needed that, you know, she didn't use or whatever. So there are some sy syringes in case I need to be drained. Here is an extra uh, pill bottle holder. I mean, a pill separator. Here's some extra gloves. Although I just ordered a, a thing of gloves. Here is some ointment I think this is the ointment that she was um, she had some burn marks so this is the ointment that the US her US doctor gave her and she said it worked like a charm that the Medi honey and stuff did not work at all so I got this um, from her this right here I think these are coming from over there is for like bruising and scarring and things of that sort here are some Arnica tablets for pain relief these are laxatives to make to use the bathroom I think here are some more gauze. Here is some Meta Honey packs to put on. I'm probably, no, that's Manuka Honey. That's Manuka Honey. But I probably ordered some Medi Honey as well, just to be on the safe side. Here is some Arnica gel, as you can see. It's kind of beat up just because it's bad, it's beat up, but it's still good, so it's more Arnica uh, tablets. Here is like saline solution to rinse off your scars and stuff. Precisions, that saline solution. So I got a bit of that already that was passed down to me, which I'm so grateful for because that helped me a lot. And um, whatever that I have left over, I'm definitely gonna pay it forward to somebody else that is after me that's gonna need it. If you need it, then let me know. I'll send it to you. Okay, I need to do something about my damn posture. My posture has been a hot mess. So that's all on this side. Now, on this side is more like my clothes and my shoes, which is not much. Here is a safe that she also gave to me to make sure that if I need to go over, the, like when I'm over there, I can make sure that I have my money inside of my safe. As you can see, this is just how it looks. You can get this from Amazon as well. Um, it has a code on here. Yeah, it has a code on here if you need but i probably won't need this because ken is going y'all so she might just end up holding my stuff but anyway this is um a safe for my stuff i got this also for my family member did she hook me up y'all this is the backboard um that goes in your faja this also is a piece of the backboard i believe or either like the front i really don't know but the nurse is gonna tell me where the hell it goes but yeah this is the backboard and stuff i got these little slides from trend mall i think they were like 11 dollars or something very comfortable i can wear these no matter if i am going to my doctor's appointments or if i am going to have some dentist appointments to go to doctor's appointments um day of surgery and i can walk around with these um in the whole i mean in the actual airbnb and if i don't want to take my shoes off when i'm showering i can put these on but most likely oh i can't even shower so i don't be walking around with these i just felt like this is probably all that i needed because sis i'm not trying to do the most so i'm gonna take these right here and i might get some some house shoes and maybe some other ones, but I feel like this pair is fine. Oh well, like something that I don't mind getting blood on and stuff like that, so you know. Um, then I have a few dresses, and because these are neutral color, y'all know I'm do the most. I like mauve and stuff like that. I got some tank top dresses. Um, I got them in large, so you know, if I need to walk around, of course my thigh high is gonna be on up here, but when I walk around, I can go ahead and put my drain up on my dress. So I got one in a cocoa a cocoa brown color. I have one in gray. I got one in pink. And I got one in black. And that is just when I want to walk around or if I feel like I want to go out somewhere, at least I'll be semi-cute, semi if it makes sense. 
then I have five tank tops. They are without the lines in it and without any type of rib. It's not ribbed or bone or anything like that. I'm gonna turn this inside out just to be on the safe side, just to make sure that I don't have any prints or anything on my skin because it's gonna be super sensitive. These are super soft. I got these from Walmart for like $2. So these dresses for trim mine was like $9.99. So if you got like a rainbow, a Walmart, if you wanna order something from Alpha Fashion Nova, uh, Burlington's anywhere, just get you some cheap dresses, sis, because this ain't the time to be cute. You going over there to do one job, and that's to get your surgery and bring your ass back home. Let's get into this first box. I'm tired already. I ain't really tired, but I gotta get back into the groove of things. Here's the first Amazon box. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here's the first box of Amazon. We've got better days. There'll be better days. We have better days, yeah. I don't know why, but I wanna cry. I want We got goodies. The first thing is a heating pad. Y'all, I'm addicted to heating pads. I know I gotta get up off of them. I really gotta get off of them. I got a heating pad over there waiting on me, but here is the heating pad for when I go over to the DR. Um, I was gonna get a heated blanket. I still am probably gonna get a heating a heated blanket, um, but whether I keep this at home because we need to can be taken and trying to, I mean, she be on my darn heating pad. So I might leave this home or I might take it. Um, you're not supposed to put heating pads directly on your skin from surgery, but I like to keep them on my feet. I don't know if they're going to let me do it or not, but, um, you know, I know for a fact I'm not going to be putting this anywhere around here just because I don't want any type of problems. So I will make sure that I link this stuff down below. I'm going to just go ahead and take this out and put this in here. Put that over there. Next. Oh. I bought some more blood builder pills. I just can't hide it. Ooh, oh, we've got better days. There'll be better days. We've got better days. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, here are my favorite blood builder. I've been taking these ever since I got serious about doing surgery. I could not do all the dead gum iron pills. Some people do Floridex, Spontane, iron pills three times a day, blood builders, Hemoplex liquid, Hemoplex, Hemoplex uh, tablets. All together, that's iron overload. Stop taking so much iron. My body was like, no sis, we not doing it. We not, we not doing it. All I was doing is taking one blood builder, one blood builder a day. I would juice my beet juice with carrot juice and orange juice. And if you don't like it, then you could put some watermelon, pineapple stuff in there and it tastes like you somewhere on the beach, sis. I did that. I eat a lot of spinach, salmon, and nut mix, like trail mix, but I make it on my own. Pumpkin seeds have a lot of iron in it. Like that, this is pretty much all I was doing consistently is taking a blood pill, a blood builder a day. And my hemo went from 11, it was at a 12, it dropped down to 11.6. And then it went from 11.6 to 12.5. And I got a hold of chlorophyll. And then it went up to 12.6 or 12.7. Then I stopped taking that and started taking my wow liquid. And I got checked today and it's a 12.6. And I have six days before surgery to continue to build my hemo up because I'm about to come on. And you know, when you start your menstrual, your hemo goes down because you're losing blood. I done moved, went on. Okay, so that's my blood filter. Here is my PEZ. I bought two PEZs. What? How the hell would I buy two PEZs? How the hell? Y'all, I done bought four PEZs. Why? What? I only got one for JJ. Why do I got four PEs? Look at, look. Honey, this ain't big enough for me. Honey, how much? Y'all, please, y'all. They probably know how flimsy it is because this thing ain't worth a dime. 
Look, I could have made that. I could have made that myself <laughs> with a strainer. So I got some PEZs. I don't know why I got two of them, but I got two of them, girl. And I don't, I don't think I need two of them, but I'm gonna pack two. I'm gonna pack. I don't. I got four of them. I don't know why I got four of them. I don't think I need all four of them, but we gonna. I wonder if I can return one of these PEZs, cause I don't think I need no four PEZs, especially. I'm, I'm gonna return one. Okay, then here is my ab board. This thing is, this thing, oh, let me be careful because I know one of the other girls broke a bag. How they put in that little bitty bag? So this is the ab board that you put here. To, Lord have mercy, I ain't even in my fire high and I can't breathe. So you put it right here if you can see. This is the air board. Um, once it's time, once they say that I can put it on, then I will go ahead and start using it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be using my pads. Then I got some more Arnica cream. I showed y'all earlier, but I got some more of uh, Arnica cream value size. So, so yeah, this is the Arnica cream that I got. I'm gonna have to get some more of these bags so I can kind of separate what is supposed to be what then i got another p thing because people say that pe's ain't ain't working right and some people say they can't get to the bathroom in time and i don't have time to be peeing on myself the wrong way so i got this and you just squat on it girl and you just let that thing go in there you need to turn around like that let it sit this way however you need to do it so just make sure that you do it ain't nothing to it and then you pour it out and you rinse this out that's how we gonna do that so that is my other P thing. I'm probably most likely gonna be using this more than anything because that other one look like you finna pee on you, it, your faha, the flow, the toilet seat, honey, your your compression socks, whoever else that's helping you pee, you gonna pee on everything and everybody. Here is the pre-op drink. It comes in two. Okay, so here's the thing. This shit smell like medicine it smells like medicine it's a cf pre-op hydration and nutrition pre-surgery drink with complex carbs for long-lasting energy baby don't play with me let's see drink in the hours drink in the hours before your surgery for adults first bottle drink the night before your procedure the second bottle finish at least two hours before your procedure girls in the dr don't necessarily talk about this at all they don't talk about this drink but the girls in miami talk about this drink um and sometimes people have to realize that um even though we are going to different places because we want different things and different results it doesn't make the dr better than miami and it doesn't make miami better than dr now we're not talking about body figures we're not talking about none of that but it's not like you cannot get good tips from each other so once i heard that you can drink this drink because the miami girls is big on this pre-op drink because it keeps you hydrated and it keeps you from throwing up from anesthesia and stuff like that so baby i will be drinking these drinks so yeah that's that for a pre-op that is all that's in that bag next thing i'm gonna take i'm gonna return these back let's who want these PEZs? Y'all let me know. I, I send it to you. Because I don't remember ordering all them PEZs. Somebody just was like, here. My second box I'm opening is... Oh, look at my robe. It's so cute. My robe. It looks little. Oh, my God. Let me open this up. I hope it's that little. Some told me to get a large... Oh no, it's okay. Oh, it's so cute. Look at my robe. <laughs> it's so cute. What y'all think? Y'all like my robe? Yes, girl. I'm gonna be here like somebody, somebody made me. Well, I am somebody's mom. I'm two people's mom. Dang, Chandler. Yes, girl. Yes, God. Yes, look at it. It's so pretty. Can y'all see? It is so pretty. 
and it come down long. I love it, I love it. And it was $9, and this is a small medium. It looked like it was a, a extra small when it was in a package, but it is so pretty. Oh, please don't mess this up, girl. Please don't mess this up, girl. Okay, so this is my pretty robe, and I love it. Let me make sure that the what your collar don't go out so you can walk around with your robe because you know i'm telling you right now i'm not finna be walking around in a whole lot of clothes in the house and i might not even wear this i'm going to wear my faha and what you see is what you get anybody that's in there or that's that what the hell is this look at this big ass no wonder why I saw this is stupid see and they ain't they ain't do what they supposed to do because I'm supposed to have two of these. So I got these. Uh, one of the surgery dogs raves about these. I feel like I'm gonna need some more because these little things is little. Um, it says relieves, promotes healing of surgical wounds. Anyway, so that's that. Um, and then I have some more gloves. Y'all, this shit's so big because they wipes they wipes these are the washcloth type that you use because of course you know once you have surgery after you have surgery you are not allowed to use the dr water because it's certain type of bacteria and stuff that we are not used to so definitely that's a no-no so i have these um one two three four five six so six come in a pack i think i'm just gonna take three over there because i think this is enough y'all think this is enough i think it's enough adult disposable washcloths i think it's enough y'all what the hell my box of gloves i to put in here too I really feel like I done overpacked. But then I don't think I did. So I think it's just a little bit left. Let me look at my list real quick and just make sure that there's nothing else that I'm missing. Whatever that I don't need, I'm gonna pull it up out of this damn bag. I gotta get toiletries and let's see. I'll be back, y'all. <laughs>